Well, the onset of fall weather, Coach, certainly a welcome occurrence for folks in Silicon Valley. And we've got football on a gorgeous day here in Santa Clara as we are situated at Levi's Stadium. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Minnesota Vikings and the San Francisco 49ers. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll run for the first time with Philip Lindsay. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. to throw on second down. Molten. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. That catch good for five. It's third down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle it, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Nick Bosa able to record his fifth sack of the season. And Charles, part of the reason they lost last week, they didn't have a single sack. Well, they changed that quickly. But did they ever? And it was something they talked about with us extensively. They needed to get pressure. How were they going to get to the quarterback? Obviously, they schemed themselves into a great play, didn't they? And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. At their own 20 yard line. Here we go, here we go. Here Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 Six at their own 20-yard line. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. On second down, a run with Breda. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. On third down, a run from Breda. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. If you start assessing what went wrong last week, Charles, and their loss, had nothing to do with the ground game. They ran it well. And you also have to say to yourself as a team, don't go away from what worked. That's not the reason the game was lost. Running the football over time when you do it consistently usually translates into wins. And they're open to do it consistently here. Here's Colder. That one, 28 yards on the ground. Yeah, I have a pretty good friend, Charles Davis, who tells me that when he sees plays like that, strong runs to the right, reminds him of the 1960s Green Bay Packers. Boy, those were the days back when the fullback actually carried the ball as well as blocked. Then you had a halfback. You had pulling guards, guys who could get out and run. And you can hear the great coach saying it back then. So we get a seal here and a seal here, and we run this play right in the alley. On first down, here's Breda. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. 
This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Garoppolo gives to Breda. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Tevin Coleman. His first touchdown on the year as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. the gun. Moulton. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second and ten from the 33-yard line. To throw again. Moulton. A fight for the football and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. And they'll start with great field position at the 41 yard line. Here's Breda. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. He's got to the 41 yard line. 21, 21. Here we go. Brings up second and nine. Back, 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 back. Brita, he'll try the right side. Even with the good footwork, he'll be stopped just inside the 35 yard line. That's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Here we go, here we go. Black 80! Black, black, black! I'm here on deck. Shoot! Watch the shot. One, Omaha. Check 99, check 99. Hey, gun, gun. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with Breda. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. So Garoppolo off, coming on is the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. This is a 49-yard attempt, right hash. And this one is right down the middle. And the lead moves to 10 zip. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. This is what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire. And they did, holding them to a field goal.
at their own 25 yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They find themselves down 10-0 early after the interception on their opening drive led to a field goal. So now they've got to pick up the mantle a little bit. You mentioned the team's down 10. They've helped contribute to that. How are they going to get their team back into this ball game? Run the offense that you think is going to be effective and execute it at a high level. Here's second and seven now from the 28. 56. Mike, 56, right there, right there, 56. Here's the second and seven. It's caught, Smith. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Nick Bosa in there to get him. And that is sack number six now for him on the year. A rookie QB struggling gets thrown down to the ground there. But, you know, maybe this game, it's not over yet, but maybe this game can be a learning experience for him. So many different things that he has to pick up on. When to, when to go ahead and flush from the pocket and run. When to get rid of the football and not take the sack. When to just go ahead and go down early and make sure you don't, make sure you don't fumble the football. So many things that he has to learn. This game starts the process. Throwing on third and long. Moulton. Looking for Thielen, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Quan Alexander. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. The coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats. He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. Touchdown, 49ers. Matt Breida with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. No, but well, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's, that's not a good combination. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Nick Bosa, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Yeah, Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Mike's 56. Watch the run, watch the run. Mike 56, Mike 56. And watch the slant. 56 to Mike, boy. 56. Operating from the gun. Moulton. He's got to complete to Stephon Diggs. And he'll be out right at the 35. Give him 19 on the play, but they will still come up a bit short. And now it's fourth down. And in their own territory, needing only a few inches, they're going to line up to go for this thing on fourth down. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Open man is Thielen. It's complete. Hey, nothing to see here. Just your standard fourth down gain of 28 yards. And the drive keeps going. First down, Vikings. 
Off play action. Moulton. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. I like what they tried to do there. They didn't get a completed pass downfield, but they came off of a momentum play. Big time gain on the previous snap. Came right back and threw one deep, hoping to catch them on their heels. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Throwing again, Moulton. It's complete to Diggs. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Now the Vikings will send out the special teams crew here for a field goal try. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. And his kick is absolutely perfect. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And solid field position here to start as they get it out to the 40-yard line. Here we go. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Time remaining for likely one final play. You're on your side of the field, but, you know, heck, maybe you throw one up 50-plus yards, see what happens. Don't forget that taking the knee is the right play to make because you just get out of there, you regroup, you start over. But if you're going to take the shot, you do have a chance of either making the play happen or picking up a deep pass interference call. And remember, it's the NFL. You get yardage. It's not just a 15-yard play. You could have something big here. Let's see if they take the shot. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. This is taken at the three. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Right so here's a first and 10 at the 38. Watch the run, watch the run. They'll run with Coleman on first down. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Here we go. Ready? Watch by four. Hey, gun, gun. Now a give coming right is Brita. You ain't doing nothing today. Now we've got whistles and a timeout here. Yeah, it looks like we've got a 49er that's down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. Here we go, here we go. Wait, 80! 11, 11. You remember me? You remember me? Let's go, baby! Go, go! Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. He's going to launch, and that's caught inside the 30. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the penalty.
And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Two, two, two. 12, fellas, here we go. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. So good coverage there defensively as it looks like they'll force a punt on this opening drive of the third. Well, let's coach them up a little bit from right here in the booth. That's exactly what they needed to do. They need to start stringing together some stops, turning the ball over back to their offense, and trying to get back into this game. Yeah, a couple scores down, but they can eat into that quickly with a nice drive here on the other side. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started. And the Niners get there and bring him down. DeForest Buckner with a sack, the former number seven overall pick. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Looking to throw. Morton flush to his right. He's got Smith here. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That one good for 26 and a first down. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator is looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Off the play face, Moulton. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Nick Bosa make that now eight sacks for him on the season. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Throwing on third and long. Moulton, he'll rifle this one deep right side. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary it really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team that's playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. Now Edwards to kick as he sends it away. And this punt sails over the sideline. And the spot, it looks to be right at the 25-yard line. Here we go. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Gun, gun. Mike 5-4, Mike 5-4, Mike 5-4. Go! Slam, slam! They run again with Breida. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Here 
Here we go, here we go, here we go. We need e. Snap comes in one. Garoppolo. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Say hello to Eric Kendricks. He gets the sack there. Like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. Taken in at the 11. A great return there, bobbing and weaving his way for 31 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Hey, hey, tight right. Watch tight end. We got four. Off play action. Molten. Complete. Smith has it. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's the Vikings in possession of the football, but they need some points. They're trailing here to start to fourth. 56. Mike, 56. Right there, right there. 56. Off the play fake. Moulton. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Eric Armstead, the defensive end, will get credited for the sack. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Back to throw. Moulton. And that one was nearly picked. Not sure he was accounting for the free safety. That brings up third down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. Throwing on third and long. Moulton. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Mark 56. Mark 56. And we have you on the edges. Have you on the edges. Oh, let's play. Oh, let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. On fourth down. Moulton. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. This quarterback now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. 56 to Mike, boys. 56. Check 56. Hey, hey, hey. 56. Mike, 56. Right there, right there. 56. It's our time. From the gun, Moulton. He'll get this to Philip Lindsay complete. Seven yards on the play, and that'll make this a second down. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. On second down, a run with Lindsay, and they'll bring him down at the 18 yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Another good completion on the drive as the Vikings have a first down. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. 
Alexander Madison, his second touchdown on the season as his guys are back within a single score. Extra point attempt to follow here. And it's up through the goalposts. It's 17-10. This game back with it, a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, 49ers. Matt Breida with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Gold with the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt... And that's caught inside the 35. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That one goes for 36. Yards. And on this challenge, the refs have to take a peek and see whether or not the receiver was able to dot the eye with both go, feet while go, making sure go. that he possesses the football all the way through the catch. First down, Minnesota. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Looking to throw, Moulton. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. To throw again, Moulton. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. On third down, here's Lindsey. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32, and obviously well short of the first down. Two yards on the pick up there, it's fourth down. Fourth down, Moulton. And no, it's incomplete. Mike Zimmer got to be unhappy with how that turned out. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at about the 32. They'll start on the ground with Breda. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Ben Gideon in on the stop. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. 
So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Breida. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. Now a toss play. It's Breida. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Fourth down now after a loss of two. I think it's pretty easy to say this is a ginormous third down opportunity here for the defense. And I'm just going to tell you, Brandon, from my experiences, what you're saying in the huddle to each other is all the right things. Read your keys. Do your job. But the biggest one, you don't have to do more. Just do what you can do, and you can make this play. A very nice job on the run back there. He'll get 23 yards, all told. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And this offense last time turned it over when Ford on fourth didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series. And because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Let's make these babies cry all the way back. 56. Mike, 56. Right there, right there. 56. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And almost intercepted. It would have been his second pick of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Under 10, under 10, 10. Check 15, check. Go, go. Max 50, Max 50. I'm going to run you over. I'm going to run you. Hey, hey, 50, 50 the mic. Go, go, go. Throwing again, Moulton. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. They'll run with Lindsey. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Let's go. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a play in the cash. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. Now second and seven from the 23. They run with Breida. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. 
That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive. It seemed like they may be giving up momentum, but not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again, and you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now... <laughs> You're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off around the 27, and they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. They'll start out on the ground with Coleman. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. It's now second and six. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Slam, slam, slam. Watch the safety creep. I got you, I got you. Stay in open. This is Breda. Getting this chest shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Oh, wait, hold everything. A timeout has been called. Seemingly silly with one second remaining in this game. Once again, they run with Breed on first down. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Viking territory. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for the Niners, they boost their record up to a strong 4-1. and one, And they will hit the road next week to take on the Indianapolis Colts. Meanwhile, for Minnesota, the loss will move them back to 3-2 and two on the year. And perhaps fortunately for them, they'll get an early bye next week and come back to action in Week 7. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.